Hi guys, today is Monday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. I hope that you all are well. Um, for those of you who are here in the Atlanta area or maybe I think North Carolina, we got some snow over the weekend and um, it was interesting. The snow here in my area of Atlanta, gosh, it went on for a few hours. It didn't really stick. At times it stuck a little bit, but not really. Um, I was watching the news and I saw that a lot of people, I think it was like in the Gwinnett area, um, had a lot of buildup. So you guys will have to drop down, leave a comment. Let me know if you saw a lot of snow. It's funny. Here in Georgia, it's like a snow day is such a big deal. And I know those of you who got snow up north were like, what is that? That's not even anything that you guys would even consider, I don't know, anything to make a big deal about. But around here, they bring out the snow plows and they put all the brine and the salt and stuff on the road. It is really a huge deal here. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well on this Monday. Uh, as you guys saw, I just whipped up a little coffee here in the Nespresso. This is actually my second cup of the day. Yes, it is, and I'm still enjoying my Nespresso. However, I will say, what was it? On last week, Eric decided to tip into Nespresso for me and pick up a few pods. These are actually not the ones that I wanted. So the one that I whipped up this morning was Inizio, I-N-I-Z-I-O. This is the color of the pod. It's pretty good. I really like that one. I didn't have a whole lot of hopes for it because again, these are not the ones that I wanted, but the boutique at Linux was out of everything. And I wrote down the ones <laughs> that I actually wanted. So you guys will have to let me know if you've tried any of these particular varieties. Hawaii Kona. I thought the Hawaii was probably going to give me like a macadamia nut type of feel. A Rondio, let me know if you guys have ever tried that one. A Florazio, Soleilio, and El Vazio. Those are the ones that I had on my list um, that I wanted him to pick up for me, but ironically enough, I think everybody was a fan of those and they were all out. Um, so let me know if you've actually tried any of those. Now, in terms of the Columbia particular variety that I have here, I don't know, I'm not holding out a lot of hope for this one. Columbia coffee, in my opinion, is it's super, super strong. I actually have some Columbia coffee for my Keurig, so if it's already strong in the Keurig, I can only imagine what this is going to how it's going to be for the Nespresso, but we will see. I will absolutely report back on that. And so in speaking of reporting back, I have to report back and let you guys know just how thankful and appreciative I am for selling me out of just about everything. I have a few more quantities of one particular item in the store and after that everything from my new unfrumpy skin line is all sold out and i actually have you guys to thank for that thank you thank you thank you so very much um i will say also that many of you hopped right in there and started shopping let me see i want to say that most of the items in the store actually sold out within the hour of the launch and you guys i cannot thank you guys enough for the support i say it here on the channel all the time you guys are the best in terms of i would say a social media following we don't have the largest platform over here but i will say in terms of support you guys are just the best you are amazing cannot be beat um let me say also that support 
comes in many different forms. You know, I know there are those of you who support the store, you're buying the tees, the hoodies, and now the, the skincare. But those of you who watch the videos, those of you who comment on the videos regularly, you know, you're liking the video or thumbs down in the video, either way, that is all support and it does not go unnoticed and I really, really do appreciate it. And so with that, many of you who missed out on the initial launch of the Unfrumpy Skin Line, guys, everything is back in stock. Everything is back in stock. Before you guys leave the video and start heading over to the store, I want to make mention of a few items in the store. One in particular that is brand spanking new is going to be the Streets of Paris. Now, the way I would describe Streets of Paris is if you are a fan of Baccarat Rouge, 540, you're gonna love the streets of Paris, all right? If you are looking for a great accompaniment, or dare I say, even a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540, you guys are going to absolutely love the streets of Paris. Now, if you guys are a fan of Dior's Savage, then you guys are going to love his shirt. Again, a perfect dupe for Dior's Savage. I absolutely love the fragrance and the body butter aspect of it is just great. You can slather it, lather it on all over your body. Um, I like to say that in my personal humble opinion, Dior Savage is a great unisex scent. Scent I have, um, Joe Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. And Myrrh and Tonka is one of those unisex scents and I absolutely love it. I love a good, strong, you know, fragrance for women also. And also, if you're looking for a great unisex body butter over in the store, Come Hither is absolutely a great one that I think you guys are gonna enjoy also. All right, so I have a quick haul for you guys today. Um, however, before we get into the haul, just a really, quick preview of what i'm wearing today this top you guys can find over at the vine amazon yes amazon one of my favorite places to shop and uh, i'll actually have it linked below i'm currently putting on a little bit of vacation from yours truly's unfrumpy skin line i absolutely love the smell Oh my gosh, I love the smell of this particular body butter. It is so fun. It is so tropical. It is so fruity. My girl, Eureth. Hi, Eureth. <laughs> she said that she was actually torn between vacation and another one of the um, scents. Can't remember which. And I'm wearing just some distressed jeans here today um a few videos ago i solicited from you guys some recipes for yours truly to make and several of you sent in your faves and um i have selected one currently it is brandy adams hi brandy uh, Brandy said that she loves this particular quick, quick healthy dish. It is a stir fry with sweet potatoes and sausage. Now, Brandy, I haven't made it yet, but I'll have to tell you, 
The other people in this house do not really care for sweet potatoes. So I will not be able to use the sweet potatoes, but she said it's a sweet potato, sausage, and kale stir fry. And she said you could probably even substitute collard greens. So I purchased the sausage. I purchased, purchased some sausage, y'all, y'all, two cups of coffee today. I purchased some sausage from Trader Joe's and I also picked up a bag of kale and um, I have an onion and I'm gonna saute that onion down really good let it get some caramelization on it and she said you can add some yellow rice if you want but it's pretty filling without it so Brandy when I make this I am going to do my best to film it I'll even ask Eric to join me in the kitchen and you know, we'll give it a go and see if mine turns out as good as yours. And while we're here, while I have my phone out, I also want to first start this segment of the video by saying again, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who shopped the launch of Unfrumpy Skin a few weeks ago. And you should see your name scrolling across the screen right now. I will also direct you guys over to the newsletter. The newsletter is also over on my website. There should be a little button up at the top of the screen when you head over to the website and it'll have newsletter. And you should see just a really huge area where you guys are getting shout outs over there. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for those of you who have already sent your, um, sent your feedback in. Also, I put a post over on the community page here on YouTube. There's a community tab and I gave a few of you a shout out. So many of you have, you know, tipped in and already given, um, again, your wonderful feedback. I want to start by thanking Proverb, 310 she said i received my products on wednesday afternoon and the package the package smelled wonderful i took the products for a test run and i must I must say that i am very pleased and impressed she went on to say omg the peppermint shower steamers has my entire upstairs smelling heavenly a small amount of the products I said this goes a very long way and she said ha ha her husband thanks me as well so i really appreciate that queen of hope hey hope she said, my products are amazing. I feel like the come hither could be unisex. I said that a few minutes ago as well. It's so fresh. And she said, you did that, sis. Thank you, Hope. Uh, me rich one. She even went so far. She, she sent an email. So thanks. Thanks so much. She said, Tan, I hope you are ready because your skincare line is going to take your business to the next level. Just watch. Thank you so much. And like, I think it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. Gosh, maybe, maybe even been earlier than that. She tipped in and sent me an email. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for that. Of course, Judy Snell said she received her vacation body butter. She says it's everything and favored for life says, do you have any idea when the, uh, your products are going to be back in stock? And yes, they are currently in stock right now. So just want to send a huge thank you. Just a really huge thank you out to you guys. Really appreciate it. All right, so this part of the video is going to be all things Gucci. You guys know that I'm just the biggest fan of Gucci. We all have our favorite designers, our favorite fashion houses that we kind of, you know, gravitate, gravitate towards. And for me, it is absolutely Gucci. I do have some Louis Vuitton, a little bit of Chanel, but for the most part, I am a Gucci girl. As you look around the closet, I am absolutely a Gucci girl. And I don't know, I don't make any excuses for it. I love the direction that Gucci is currently going with it's line. There is a slogan on their website right now that says that they are redefining luxury and I love that. What I take that to mean is gone are the days where luxury has to be buttoned up, prim, proper, and perfect. You know, Chanel. <laughs> I just love how Gucci is a little bit more grungy now. It's a little bit more familiar. It's a little bit more inclusive. And I absolutely love that about Gucci. Gucci is just putting their own spin on luxury right now. 
it's not again all buttoned up prim and proper anymore when you go into gucci when you visit the website you just see people just looking like normal regular people you don't have to be afraid i guess i want to say to go into gucci there's not that whole air of exclusivity about it come on in and shop and so yeah what i'm going to share with you today are a few pieces that eric tipped into gucci and purchased uh he says these are early valentine's day presents all right so first up you guys know that gucci and balenciaga recently did a collaboration and he picked up an item from that particular collection or collaboration for me this is the box this is the bag i know that you guys have seen this design already and so of course i've seen all of this obviously this is a wallet now i absolutely have close-ups and i have here women's hacker card case wallet in coated canvas and i have it here in the color beige not sure if you guys can kind of see behind me but i am a large huge mega fan of the ophidia print uh by gucci and so this is going to be a great addition to my ophidia print collection all right absolutely love it this is just the sweetest little wallet i am very appreciative and thankful that he thought enough to tip in there and purchase this for me super super cute there's a little zipper compartment here love that i think let's see of the different prints that gucci has put out over the years the ophidia with the really bold GG web here has absolutely been among my favorites. So that's the first thing. You guys will have to drop down, leave a comment. Let me know what is your actual favorite uh, item or items from the Gucci Balenciaga collaboration. Drop down, leave a comment, let me know. I neglected to say the earrings I'm currently wearing are also from Amazon. I love these cute little bows on them and they were very inexpensive. All right, next up, let's see what we have here. I obviously tried to redo the wrapping, but it's a fail. You guys are also going to have to let me know how many of you who are YouTubers, you know, influencers, how many of you try to, after you have opened up your purchases, or gifts in my case, have then gone back and tried to put the ribbon or bow back on it and it's just an epic fail. That happens to me every time. I mentioned to you guys some time ago, maybe about two or three weeks ago, that I went to see with Eric and Chase, we went to see uh, the Gucci movie featuring, starring Lady Gaga and the guy from Star Wars, Kylo Ren. Um, gosh, the packaging in the movie when they would go into the store and then just the, just the way everything looked in the, in the movie when they were inside of the Gucci storefronts. It was just, I just love Gucci. Drop down, leave a comment. Let me know also you guys' favorite, um, favorite luxury brand if you have one. All right, so packaging here. And on the inside, guys, he got me the Gucci LeMay socks. Let me see. Let me look up the actual, the exact name for the socks. But I absolutely love these. All right. Hold the line, please. All right. So, yeah, these are the Gucci LeMay GG socks. So they are actually, as you can see, in the khaki color. But what you guys may not be seeing, and what I'll do is I will insert some pics. There is like some really pretty sparkly gold running throughout the socks. They are super long, thereby allowing you to wear these with a skirt. You can obviously wear these with pants. And I feel that the perfect shoe for me for these socks will be my Gucci Prince Town loafers. And I just happen to have a pair of my fuzzy ones right here. You guys know these, they have the fur on the inside. They are really, really warm on their own. Your heel is obviously out. And if I were to wear these on a day like today, 
I would absolutely want some socks to wear with them. So I feel that the Princeton loafers and the socks, it's gonna be doing the most, but that's just what Gucci is doing these days. Gucci in terms of style, they are absolutely doing the most. I know that we all know that Chanel has always been buttoned up, but I think here as of late, Louis Vuitton is actually heading in that direction also. And so where it, when everyone else is going and trying to be all buttoned up, I just love how Gucci is being very gauche right now. And I'm here for it. I have my furry Princetown loafers that I feel that the socks would look amazing with. These are just my simple leather ones that I also feel that the socks would look really, really chic and still you know, very Gucci gauche with. Um, so I have those in that khaki color. But now, if you again, head over to the Gucci website, you will absolutely see this. The Gucci girls don't care. The Gucci guys don't care if, you know, you have the, this is like a red and navy and then pair it with the khaki socks. It is just a vibe. Those are the socks. Do you guys also keep your boxes? Do you keep your packaging? I, I have to say for a long time, I threw my boxes out with the trash. I don't do that anymore because I'm really loving, like I said, the direction Gucci has gone in with the packaging. Now, before I pull up this next behemoth of a box, let me go ahead and tell you what it is, all right? This is the Gucci tote bag with the Jumbo GG. The Gucci tote bag with the Jumbo GG. This box is huge. This bag is huge. Want to go ahead and share that before I pulled it up. Let me also say that this particular purchase is from the men's line. As I mentioned to you guys earlier today, I just love the androgynous side of looks. You know, today I have on a really frilly top, but I have on some rugged denim, but my hair is kind of girly and I think it makes for just a really cute look. I do the same thing with my fragrances, my scents. I said that Come Hither can be a unisex. Um, his skin from the Body Butters can be a unisex scent. scent. Here I have Jo Malone, Myrrh and Tonka, which is also a really, really great, 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 I love this, unisex scent. So me purchasing or Eric gifting me with items that are more traditionally, you know, over in the men's uh, section of a particular store, he knows I have no, no, no problem with it at all. All right, so with that being said, ooh, this is the box. Oh my gosh. Hers is, let's see if we can get it out. I just love it. The brocade detail on this box is just everything. Let me put it down because it's messing with the lighting. The sun will not really be making an appearance today. So let me also apologize about the lighting in here today. So of course it has the magnetic opening on it. And without any further pomp and circumstance, All right, that was a lot of box for this bag. This is a good size bag, but that was a lot of box and packaging for this bag. All right, so here's the dust bag, as you guys can see. Eric said he went in there, not even thinking about getting this, but they had strategically placed this bag, guys, at the very front. I wanna say he said it was actually in the window and he was like, that's it, that's her. She loves a big bag, she likes a tote. Let me just go ahead and let them know they can go ahead and package that one up. So I really, really, really appreciate him picking this up for me. It is just the sweetest bag. I can't believe that this was over, you know, 
in the men's department. Um, but again, that just kind of speaks to how Gucci is just rolling out their designs these days. I really feel that this is not only great for that guy, your, that guy in your life who just really loves to, you know, hey, you're going to tip out. He wants to be seen. But also for that woman, that lady in your life or yourself, it comes with a strap. Now, I know you guys are saying, well, wait, the strap is a little bit more, the webbing on it is more of like an army green as opposed to the traditional greens of the webbing. But this is what kind of differentiates this um, particular bag from the bags over in the women's uh, department of Gucci. So this is the green they're using for the men, but hey, I love it. A green is a green is a green. The hardware on here is obviously gold. And let's see, okay, so on the outside, you hook in your strap here. And let's see, where's the other? The other is, where's the other one? Oh, they're both on the same side, okay. Okay, okay. Guys, I am just, this is me. This is me in a bag. I freaking love it. Absolutely love it. So again, let me grab my phone. You know what, I'll put it on the screen. I'll put it on the screen, um, the name of this one. But gosh, it is so freaking gorgeous. I think it's just the right size. This bag is just the right size for me. I love a big bag. As you guys can kind of, you know, look around behind me at some of my Gucci collection. I am a big bag girl. That's gonna do it for today, guys. Really appreciate appreciate you guys stopping in for, you know, another video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this last little bit of a snow day here in Atlanta. Once again, I cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support, continued support over in the store. Remember, just because you don't shop the store does not mean that I don't consider you as a supporter. You're watching the videos, you're commenting on the videos, and that is absolutely support, support that does not go unnoticed. And I thank you guys so, so very much. All right, and with that guys, really appreciate it, and I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>